Welcome to the video on writing a fraction as a percent. So in this video, what we're trying to do is go from something that looks like a fraction and write it as a percentage. Okay, our first step is to find the proportional fraction with a denominator of 100. This is a little bit wordy, but please don't be intimidated by it. Look at what I do. When we're talking about a percentage, what percentage means, this symbol here, what it means is out of 100. So what a percentage is, is that number out of 100. For example, 2% means 2 out of 100. 98%, let's say you got 98% on your last math quiz. That means you got 98 points out of 100 possible points. All right, to write a fraction as a percent, we need to get the fraction out of 100. So I'm going to erase some stuff here. We're trying to write this out of 100. So what you're always going to do first is figure out how to get from this denominator, from this denominator to 100. So how do we get from 50 to 100? You have to think of multiplying or dividing. In this case, we're going to multiply times 2, because 50 times 2 gives 100. Okay, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do the same thing to the numerator. So we take 27 and multiply it by 2. 7 times 2 is 14. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So then we have 54 out of 100. So we've done our first step. That's all the first step means. Our second step is to write the fraction as a percent. Okay, I'm going to erase this here so that I have some more space. Okay, percentages, as I said before, just mean whatever the number is out of 100. So here we have 54 out of 100. That really means 54%. Let's do another example and we're done. Let's do another example together. One so our first step, we have 1 20th. Our first step is to find the proportional fraction with a denominator of 100. Okay, we need to go from 1 20th to something over 100. What do we do to 20 to make it 100? We're going to multiply it by 5. If you can't figure it out, that's okay. Take 100 and divide it by 20. We already know it's 5. Whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. So I'm going to multiply it times 5. 1 times 5 is just 5. So we have 5 out of 100. Done step 1. Step 2, write the fraction as a percent. Remember, fractions just mean out of 100. So 5 out of 100 means 5%. Okay, try number 3 on your own. Pause the video now. Give it a try. When you've got your answer, press play, and I'll go through the steps, and you can see if you've done it correctly. Okay, hopefully you've done, you've tried it on your own, 27 out of 50, turning it into a percent. Let's do it together now. If My first step is to find the proportional fraction with the denominator of 100. So how do I get from 50 to 100? So do that, I multiply it by 2. 50 times 2 gives 100. Whatever I did to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So I take 27 and multiply it. Oh, shoot. You have a different one. You don't have 27 over 100. I think you have 7 tenths. One second. Okay, you don't have 27 fiftieths. You have 7 tenths. So let's erase this. Sorry about this, team. You already did 27 over 50. I'm going to erase this. And instead of 7, 27 fiftieths, I'm going to write 7 tenths. Okay, now, <laughs> hopefully you tried 7 tenths on your own. If you haven't, pause it, try it on your own. Now, I need to find how to find the proportional fraction with a denominator of 100. Okay, what do I do to 10 to make it into 100? If you're not sure, you can always do the long division on the side. But I know that I multiply it by 10. Okay, whatever I've done to the denominator, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. So I multiply 7 times 10. It gives me 70. 
And 70 out of 100 written as a percent is just 70 percent. Hopefully you got 70 percent for this question. Um, you're going to try the you try on your own to make sure you really understand it. If you have any questions or aren't clear, first of all, go back and rewatch that part of the video and then raise your hand and ask me. Okay, see you later.